Okay, so, Johnny, we go. Oh, yes, shit. we go. So, um, JJ Thompson, we're talking from memory late 18, I guess, 1897, something like that discovered the electron, which bang causes problem for John Dalton's model of the atom because we've got this electron that's got negative charge, negligible mass, and we have to somehow get that into our bowling ball model of the atom, which is tricky because our atoms were neutral before, and so they have to stay neutral. We've got to find some negative charge to put in there as well. And the way that J.J. Thompson dealt with this, he came up with a new model of the atom that he called the plum pudding model of the atom. But mm. plum pudding, we've got to think back to the 1890s, what did plum pudding mean? It was kind of like a, like a sultana bun, a raisin bun. This so is good. called the plum pudding Rose, model. Do you like raisins? <laughs> yes, <laughs> I like raisins. The sun is on my way. I bet you love dates then. <laughs> <laughs> so what JJ Thompson did is started off with a sphere, so the atoms are still going to be a bowling ball, but that bowling ball is going to be positively charged evenly spread mass, so positive charge and mass kind of evenly spread through the sphere. And then how do we account for the electrons? They are like the raisins inside the bun. So in JJ's model of the atoms, we had negatively charged electrons. These wrong Key thing, dotted at fixed positions inside the atom. A much better model of the atom than what we have from John Dalton because now we've got positive charge and negative charge, but our atom is still overall neutral. And one big solid thing. Say again. And one big solid thing. So where we're going from here is that some other person might have heard of him, Rutherford, was a student of J.J. Thompson's at the time that this was happening. He was also studying radiation, so to understand how Rutherford managed to take this model forward, we're going to have to have a look at radiation first. Wait, when was Rutherford? His, his, when was he dead? He died of some ridiculously little disease because he was a man of a lord, right? He was so important the man of a lord. And the problem with being a lord is that you're only, your doctor has to also be a lord if you're a lord. And so what? it took him so long to find another doctor who was a lord that he died, like waiting for the right sort of the right sort of doctor oh. to come. He like, would have died of radiation. Yeah, died of radiation. Anyway, so, JJ Thompson's model, next time radiation. 